Oh god, that really is so good. Hi guys and welcome to The Rocksettera. Today I'm going to be doing a project review. As some of you may know, I have a fashion and beauty blog, so in keeping with that, I want to upload videos about things that I would talk about on my blog, but I want to talk about in a bit more detail. Every time I buy a new beauty product, I want to review it for you. What I find really good, what I recommend to buy, and what I would recommend not to buy. But obviously, everything I'm talking about is my own personal opinion, and it's just what works best for me. So this is Aqueous Cream. Rose, although you know how much this costs, guess how much you think this costs? I'm gonna go out on a limb mm. and say... A pound. A pound. I think it was even less than. I think it was 99p. It's just a really moisturising, hydrating cream. Because I have eczema and my skin type is very dry, I put on moisturiser every morning, every night, you know, before I put on my makeup or whatever to soften and smooth my skin. Moisturisers that are heavy moisturisers that I need to make my skin less dry are also really greasy. I have a leather sofa and when I sit down I leave a wet patch because of all the greasy moisturiser I've had on my body. Now aqueous cream is amazing because it is seriously, seriously hydrating um, but it's not greasy and it's not heavy so even though it's really moisturising it's actually really light so if you've got oily skin I believe that you could still probably use this it's so light it doesn't leave a greasy residue it just sinks right in it's absolutely amazing I'm going to get a little bit intimate with you now you can actually wash your nether regions with it. So it literally doubles as everything. It doesn't give me spots. It, I feel like my skin is really clear, really clean, really cleansed and really hydrated. Acne, oiliness, dryness, combination skin, whatever. I just have very dry skin. I don't have to really worry about spots. So I'm, I'm very lucky in that I can just slather the moisturizer on and not worry about blocking my pores. Rose has a very different skin type to me. She actually has an oilier skin type and she does suffer sometimes from a bit of mild acne. And she actually uses this to wash her face with and it doesn't give her any trouble. In fact, it cleared up her skin. You have to buy it. And look how big it is for a pound. I mean, you don't get this value anymore. It's great to see such a big, good value thing for one pound. The next thing I want to rave about is my brand new shampoo and I will literally be using this shampoo for the rest of my life. I'm sold now. This month I found life-changing products, literally. If you can find the right product that works for you, it can change your life if it makes things better for you. And a good shampoo that can make your hair look great is a life changer, I believe. So I bought this from Lush. It's not in the packaging because obviously I had to use it to review it. And it's called New. It's designed to encourage new hair to grow. So I went in saying I want thick, voluminous hair, and the lady said, you can use big to make your hair, your already existing hair big and voluminous, or she said, I've been using new, and this is giving me such new hair, it encourages new hair to grow, so my hair is naturally more thicker, longer, and voluminous now because of the amount of hair that is growing. It smells like, ah, oh, it smells amazing. It smells a bit like aniseed. Like a summer's day. The results are incredible. Um, I went to my hairdressers the other day and even she was so wowed by the results. And so she's a hairdresser and she buys really expensive products that are not on the high street. You know, she's obsessed with her salon brands. When I wash my hair with it, it makes my hair feel dry, but in a nice way. It doesn't feel dried up like over-processed bleached hair. It just feels matte. It feels very, very clean. And I've noticed that I can go longer and longer and longer not washing my hair. And it is encouraging new hair to grow. I can see so many new baby hairs coming through. It really has worked. And I was so dubious. I really didn't think it would. How many washes can I get out of this? And she said, over 100. The tiniest bit foams incredibly, and that's another thing, it foams up so well. I literally, you can put it on your head like this, or you can literally just rub it in your hands, and rub it into your hair, and it literally foams up so much. Another good thing about this product is, it's all natural ingredients. Now I know Lush claims to be natural, it's not 100% natural ingredients, but normal salon brands, although they're brilliant, or any high street shampoos, they have a lot of fats, a lot of animal in them, and a lot of plasticky materials in. So when you wash your hair, the plasticky product coats your hair and makes it look shiny, which is obviously you want your hair to look shiny and healthy. But if you keep using these shampoos over and over again, it keeps coating your hair. And instead of washing your hair clean, you're just adding more and more 
greasy plasticky layers to your hair and it gets a build up of grease and it gets more oily and it also gets more flat so by using a natural shampoo and washing your hair with that there's no plastic on your hair there's no coating it's literally made of herbs leaves you know peppermint fruits stuff like that and it just refreshes your hair and encourages it to grow and it stimulates your pores it's just a really, really amazing shampoo and it is a life changer, especially if you've got greasy hair. My next product is another hair product and I got this from TK Maxx. It's Edward Beale Moroccan Gloss Argan Oil Conditioner for Blonde Hair. Extremely nourishing, really good for your hair, makes it shiny, healthy, stops dryness, protects it, it's protective and also encourages it to grow. So I picked up for about £11 a soap and glory product, Glow All Out. Glow All Out Luminizing Radiance Face Powder. I am absolutely in love with it. I use it to highlight. It's got a little mirror as well, so you can take it around in your bag and have a little look. And I just like to put it around my eyes and cheekbones. A bit on my nose and forehead. I think that adding a bit of this really just sets the makeup, it blends it really well and just finishes the whole deal and just makes it look just that bit polished. I think this is a really, really good product. I'm absolutely obsessed with this hairspray and it is the cheapest product of the lot. It was about 86p. We went into Aldi and I was like, I'm desperate for hairspray, I haven't got any hairspray and I just picked this up and I thought 86p, I'll just have it for a couple of days before I buy myself a salon brand expensive hairspray. It's not a brand I've used before or seen in the high street and obviously it's really cheap. It held it so well that I wore it all night curled, slept on it, it was still curly the next day for a whole another 24 hours, slept on it and it still lasted the next day. Three days my hair stayed curled and no greasiness, no stickiness, it didn't look like you know, my hair had gone hard, it just held it amazingly, it's absolutely insane. As long as they keep selling in Audi, I'm going to keep picking this up. It's last age, so it's a really big can. I'm going to keep on picking it up, um, and I don't think I'll go back to high street brands unless there's something amazing out there. If you've got anything to recommend me, I'd love to hear it, especially eyeshadow palettes. I'm really big on eyeshadow, so, and I need to get myself a new palette, it's time. Any highlighters or contours, anything you think is an amazing product or anything you want me to review for you, um, write it in the comments and I'll do that. All the links to the products I've used will be on my blog and the link will be below. Rose is looking stunned. Sorry. The exorcist. I can't, cat he's over not there. looking at me, he's just looking at me. I'm scared because I'm scared. he's not blinking. Oh, yeah. Rose. Ah! <laughs>